today i am going to talk about ng rock this is one of the very interesting and uh, very productive tool for a software developer especially uh, multiple developers teams i recently find this uh, so one of the solution i mean, of course it's a free solution uh, for my team who really work remotely um, especially in the you know the covid situation and work from home situation uh, ng rock really helps us to connect a different uh, developer for example we have a, a back end developer we have a front end developer there are times these two developers regardless of the location they are in without on the same internet or without they are connecting each other through the uh, wired network ng rock really helps to connect the uh, the back end developer with the front end in a real time to do the testings and it really helped a lot to complete the project so let me go ahead and uh, explain how it really works so that and i can go and uh, demonstrate it but it's not really any code related work it's just uh, some setup okay so um i just use this uh, board in order to draw okay assume you have a front end developer who work uh, from the us okay and uh, assume you have a back end developer and who work from india okay assume they both work on um i mean same project that means uh, um the back end developer work on some data part a business logic part and the a front end developer is so working on the the ui part okay i mean it is geographically they are completely disconnected right but take the another case where uh, you have um, in a single room okay both front end and back end developers sit together and uh, work um without you know any um network between these two computer are not in the same uh, internet all right but when this situation ng rock is really remedy okay and the help of the, the purpose of the ng rock is that ng rock really expose your back end okay assume this is a back end this is expose your back end api to the public network and your front end developer can connect directly the api and they can do the real time testing it's not really between one to one okay so even the there could be a multiple back end developer they all can use the same ng rock and they can expose their computer um through the ng rock and uh, thus maybe the same front end developer or a different front end developer can use these services in the real time okay that's what i'm going to show you um so in this demo i'm going to use the two different computers in order to you know show how it works because these two computer please uh, note that they are not connected uh, with the same internet or they are not connected through ethernet or anything okay they are two disjoint computers all right so um in order to begin with let's go and uh, uh, run one of the one of the uh, back end application i'm i'm managing right now okay um all right i'm going to this is a basically a spring boot application as i told you this is nothing about a code whether you are a, you know whatever the programming language i mean it the core concept is as long as it is a a uh, web application and it is exposing the restful service you can use ng rock in order to give your back end service to the front end developer okay so right now it is running okay assume the service is available all right let's go ahead and uh, see whether the service is available now the service is running under 80 80 port and uh, you see the data is available here and uh, in order to test i mean there are there are many um api endpoints are available here in order to um check them all right let's go ahead and show you so <clears throat> this are all the apis i mean it's a erp system it has uh, you know to do purchase management um 
web shop, WhatsApp integration, asset management, leave HR, you know, human resource, project management, um, office docs. I mean, it has a lot of things in this ER. So in order to connect, okay, let's assume I'm keep on writing this code and uh, I'm improving the code and uh, I'm keep writing this code, you know, in my, in my system. All right. Um, let's go ahead and use the project controller or something like that. Okay. I'm keep editing, but still the service is uh, exposed, um, right? It is running and uh, I can go ahead and use any of the uh, services that are available here. Okay. So let's go and uh, list the to do. Okay. Just click to do. There are a lot of, you know, to do for this particular uh, user. Everything is like restful JSON based data. All right. Now, my front end developer who work on a different computer, they wanted to really connect the connect the RESTful services available in my computer in order to do the real time testing. You know, I can just go ahead and uh, put this into the continuous integration. This will keep on deploying into the CI module. They can still use the, you know, the, the, the hosted uh, testing environment, but uh, we wanted to really do that. Uh, in a real time eh, because there are a lot of test data in my computer they can quickly connect and do the the quick test into the system so all right right this is one computer giving the restful services i mean this is a local host this is not running on a server okay so now Ash, i mean let's see that uh, this service is running under the port number of um 8080 okay i mean this is spring boot of course the default port is 8080 all right the service is already running if you go ahead and uh, you know type the 8080 the service is running okay this is the response there is no real data in the in the browser all right now um let me tell you how to install the ng rock just you are going to install once and you can use it forever I mean, whatever the program you are using, okay, this is not about a programming code. It's about infrastructure facility. All right. So if you are a Mac user or a Windows user, Linux user, I mean, whatever the uh, OS or a computer you have, you just go ahead and download and install. It's just three step. I mean, in case of Linux or a Mac user, it's pretty easy. Just copy this command and go to your command prompt. All right. Um, and just hit and uh, run okay it will install i already installed so i uh, need not install this again once you install i mean again for a windows user just go ahead and uh, if you have a choco it can install in the command prompt or you can just download and double click and install okay so once to install and the another step is that just click the ng rock config auth token if you are not already logged in, i mean you can log in with a, a, a gmail or whatever um, just go to this site and uh, click uh, sign in and uh, you can sign into the system. Okay. And copy this code. All right. Copy this particular uh, code and hit paste into your command prompt and it will directly go and uh, open the browser and it will connect your computer with the login. I mean, in order to ensure that uh, who is running this on those things. Okay. Once you run, that's it. Just copy this command go to your command prompt and you can simply hit this and make sure that assume you are you are working on uh, any php based web server or rust based web server or java based web server just find out which port your application you know the default port is running okay in my case so my application is running under 8080 okay i can just go ahead and type 8080 all right just hit enter, enter. So in my case, I, I use this uh, daily basis. Okay, I ha I I saved the command using the sh um, in, under the sh file. So Windows user can create uh, bad files. Okay, this can be any name. Okay, it's not really ngrocket.sh. It's up to you. You can make whatever the name that you like. Okay, so all you need to just go to the command prompt. Make sure your web service and already running in your local host and um, and you know the port which you are running okay just hit enter that's it if you hit enter the ng rock will give you the 
I mean, this is my computer, the local host. Ng Rock really gives a real time one of the public IP address. I mean, this is valid until you kill this uh, Ng Rock. Okay, you you can press Control C, it will you know exit exit from the you know running instance. All right. Uh, in case your front end developer says that okay, I finished a job and I no need a further service, take, you can just kill this. But until then, this particular, you know, the dynamic website will stream your computer, I mean, your local host RESTful service into the, I mean, to the internet, okay. So, which means anybody from your team, or I mean, doesn't matter they are your team, okay. They can just go ahead and connect this URL and uh, your data will be available. Okay. I mean, this is a default ngrock site. Okay. Just you can once you can say, click the visit site, you see my local host gives a message. The same message is available in the one of the public, I mean, SSL included web server. Okay. Can we just go ahead and run into the postman and see? See, this was an endpoint, right? Just go ahead and I because there are a lot of endpoint here. I put uh, the postman, you know, uh, environment variable here. All right. So for this one, all right. This is my endpoint. Okay. I mean, leave this part for now. Um, I just save. Or if this really confuse you, you can leave this. Just go ahead and uh, type local host eighty eighty hit enter you get the response right or if you go ahead and change this to the the the, the server ip like the website still you can send the same request and it will be available okay now you can wonder what's the point right i can use the local host itself directly but what is the real benefit you can give this url i mean you can give this to your front end developer who may be working remotely far away from you they can directly connect your local host computer service the restful service and they can develop the front end in the real time okay that's the benefit of ngrock so now i'll go and connect the front end into another computer and see how we can connect this the same service in a different computer and i get all this uh, detail in the front end portion all right so the computer where uh, only the front end developers are you know using the back end services through the ng rock all right so npm run front end this is our uh, react js based uh, um, you know uh, i mean the erp let's go ahead and hit run and uh, i'll just keep waiting in this code uh, because um, i wanted to really you know it goes into the auto login i have copied the ng rock um, the service url and uh, go to my the front end code here uh, i mean this is a code part of it that's not the key here and i mentioned the um, you know the the location where the particular back end services are getting called the restful services i just save here now it will auto compile right that's the benefit of spring boot and I'll now go back to login. All right, just go here and uh, hit my you know credential in order to login. Login, I can see the 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 ERP. Where if you go ahead and look at the uh, network calls, so you can see that the other computer on the remote it is getting connected via NG Rock. My data is getting streamed. So just go ahead and maybe refresh, and you can see that. This is the URL we 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 get got from the ngrock, right? So the different computer which is not away not connected in this particular front end developer computer, and still the restful services, you know, giving the data through the um, through the service. Okay, you see the same uh, JSON response you you have, and let me go and click a few of them. I mean, anyway, that's not um, the key part here. I just go ahead and click uh, the calendar I get the calendar I get the responses and go back and uh, click maybe uh, maybe to do 
and uh, the user to do are here and i can just go ahead and schedule it whatever okay the whole point here is that uh, you see that all the services are coming from the the other computer through through the um, <clears throat> ng rock okay that's a key benefit it's absolutely free okay the another benefit uh, i mean assume that there is a back end developer who is working on uh, her or his computer they are keep on updating the code so that when they update the code i can keep you know uh, consume the latest uh, features or bug fixes from the developer computer so this way that the back end developer and front end developer can work collaboratively uh, even when they are completely you know remote all right so i will now show the ngrock screen where it will give the statistics or, or the links like uh, which are all the pages the front end developers are um, you know calling the ngrock screen is uh, you know really tracking all the you know user changes for example i asked the front end developer and uh, to go and visit a few other pages okay as it clicks so i can see that um, this is you know giving the um, you know various navigations you know right so if i click uh, something else this will give you know it will give what are all the apis are being called right this is really keep changing every moment the front end developers are you know uh, navigating or calling our service um so i hope uh, this video would be helpful please note that uh, this is really helpful in order to really solve any most critical um, um uh, bug fixes uh, you wanted to have the both front end developer and back end developer to really work together in a real time environment uh, um yeah i mean the use cases you can find uh, uh, whatever the way uh, that are helpful for you but uh, in my case the i mean my team uh, mix up uh, mix up of with the uh, back end and the front end developer and this tool is really very helpful and uh, they could uh, really do the amazing thing uh, collaboratively thanks for watching bye